Hi, welcome to Backyard Effects. I'm Trevor Swanson, and today I'm going to show you how to curve a bullet. Wanted style. Okay, now this effect was requested by, um, well, it wasn't requested by anyone really, but, uh, <laughs> we're just doing it. Okay, so this build is essentially two parts. First, your green box, which will contain your spinning bullet. Now, once you key out the green on this, you'll bring in the second part of this build, which is the footage or the curving of the bullet. Okay, so now that you got the basics of the build, Let's turn to our wheel to find out our budget. Four 20 by 30 foam panels, two sponge brushes, a 1 8 inch dowel, green screen paint, foam glue, a wire clothes hanger, and plumber's epoxy. I'm Trevor Swanson, and I see films everywhere. First, measure out four equal squares of foam board. I was able to get two out of one piece. Now, cut them all out, and you'll have four equal sides. Then, using your foam glue, adhere all the sides together. Now, paint your box green. After three even coats, you can set your box aside and begin work on your bullet. Cut your dowel in half and paint it green. Employ the use of your plumber's epoxy to sculpt the slug. It might take a while to get the basic shape right, but stick with it. The end result is well worth it. Once you've got the shape, feel free to add detail. The more the better. After your epoxy is cured, you can move on to painting the slug. I chose to color mine a dingy gray. Now, take your clothes hanger and using wire cutters, carefully remove the bottom section. Now, bend this section into a Y. This will be the support for our spinning bullet. Then, as with everything else, paint it green. Once all the paint is dried, bring your box back in. Carefully poke a hole in the back of your box. Slightly angling it will help with this effect. Firmly glue your Y support in place. Your dowel should be well supported and spin smoothly. Now you're ready to start filming. Experiment with spinning the dowel at different speeds to get the desired look for your bullet spin. Bring your actor in and have them experiment with flicking the gun until you get something that feels right. Doing this slowly and adjusting the speed in post seems to work best. Now, we'll move on to the bullet curve. Use your tripod as a counterweight or brace it against yourself to steady your shot. We want to make this shot as smooth as possible. Filming around objects such as corners will help emphasize the curve of your bullet. Use your camera's zoom to avoid that jerky walk look. Once you got this, edit it all together. Hey, what's up, dude? I was making a sandwich. Nice. That was delicious. Thank you. Alright, man. I'm out of here. I'll see
that's the sandwich. Alright, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you here next week on BFX. Peace.